Wonderful South Africans and welcome to another exciting episode here. Tom's Honomoho SABC One Mzanti for sure. Proudly brought to you by the SABC Education. And in Yasbefe, it's good to the show that brings you the greatest, latest trends like Mzanti. And in Mzanti, we're going to be talking to you fashionistas out there. So I've seen entertainers showing you guys the latest trends, the evolution and technologies of the fashion world. And finally, let's go to Luna because we are not going to pretend to be the fashion police. But rather, let's go to But rather, who wants us some of SA's hottest fashion designs. And we're also going to tell you guys about the evolution of the fashion industry. So, we're also going to about some insanely cool high-tech fashion being discovered in Club And we're also going to be showing you guys some DIY apps. So, here are today's highlights. Let's get it. Retuta horror fashion ke inge, lur hobanik ele such a big part of our lives, and who decides what's in and what's out? Rutakaneli Judy Mofe Marubini, we tuta more about her fashion label, Black Diamond Collection. We look at a new technology, Eva Isabidi Sanka Mohara, the fashion industry, Ebi Zwang laser cutting, Eber Chakila Company, Isabidi San, this advanced technology, Rubana Horiona, Isabidi Zwang. We get all proudly South African and look at SA's fashion and textile industry. Rubana Horubat Malipatsla Nakao Fela Boy, Naba Creator Zwang high-tech clothing and gadgets for Rona Rokonohabar. Learn about the evolution of the fashion industry, get some cool do-it-yourself apps on your phone, and as always, our guests share some advice to help you with your future career. Why is fashion a big deal? What influences fashion and who decides what's trending and what defines fashion? Some of the services are you guys and this is what you had to say. Um, well... Fashion is just, I don't know what fashion is, it's just fashion is the way you dress. Uh, fashion is, is basically what you wear. So anywhere around the world, whatever they wear, that's their fashion. People have different meanings for fashion. I just have my simple getting dressed as fashion for me. I would define fashion as, yeah, basically anything that you wear, that would be fashion. I think that the way you dress um, represents the way people see you. Fashion is definitely dictated by Emida. Emida says with the what's, what's hot or not. Well, I'm a very simple person. Like, as you can see, my shorts and my sandals. The fashion definitely reflects the personality of moon. I mean, like a certain style of like a hipster, you know? Fashion can mean a lot of things. To some, it is an art form. In Banunghuba Tubabang, it can mean a style or a custom. In Mababilin Twitter Twanang, Lydia Paro, the gadgets and accessories. Or even the Jotar Dijang, the behavior of own. Well, Gamo, for some of us, fashion means the way we dress ourselves. So, as I mentioned, who defines what's fashionable? No, it's why it's in the name of the name Fashion bro kona we sebe di sarona re sebe kui expressa kui expressa di identity sarona di di personality sarona. Kasha ba mwa parwa mutu we can tell the hipsters from the goths or the skaters from the surfers. Ja par bro kona separate ba tu into groups and fashion can become an extension of someone's identity. But ba par dia paro bro kona ba protect her from litzati, pula and other environmental conditions. Sometimes ra par dia paro sarona ho bro kona ho expressa di religion sarona. Japara can also identify traditions like military uniforms, wedding attire, and robes worn by judges Kamohara Kot. We sometimes even dress according to our emotions. But Wabangata dress up when they are happy, but do not bother Hailo Rubana about Kulebutoko. So who decides what's trending? Well, everyone really. Designers showcase Msebe Tuwabona, and then the fashion magazines on Netflix decide which trends their readers will like the most. 
the retailer did decide on many months in advance which orders to place to keep their customers happy. The celebrities, the socialites, and even politicians can influence trends. In Panangoma Katelong, it is us, the consumers, who decide to buy into a trend or not. South Africa Kele Haela, some of the coolest fashion designers, Molly Fatsen Kaufela. In Panangara, we are the fashion experts, Horwana Habashebile, Kebango Bakambizang, legendary. One woman's name seems to pop up every time. Ikabal Nala Ditiba Nadi, SA Legend Salona. Well, let's go and find out. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Marianne Fasla? Marianne Fasla. Marianne Fasla is said to be SA's first lady of fashion, and she's a legend in the local and international fashion industry. More of an artist than a designer, Uya Ikrenyan constantly reinventing Amat Designs Waike, and has been described as unashamedly different, African and anti-fashion. Utala Abege Ilisho on the vibrant cross-culture images is Semka Gonyez Weletu, and she has a string of local and international honors. Ukolelogui sustainable design, and she works specifically in Abafaz Ukulisa ESA's fashion industry. A studio site, Leopard Frog, is situated at Saxon World at Josie. La, she mentors ama aspiring fashion designers who want to incorporate African art with my designs. Marion Fasla is a legend and one of SA's most original and enduring fashion designers. Was for Luxor Gabanzi apart an upcoming fashion designer while I am Zanzi. So Samila Sai Pitorio Kulumano Judy Maufe Marubini about a label called Black Diamond Collection. Let's go check it out. Sina Langandifi Judith Maufe Marubini and the Bebera Limpopo Winafi Venda Ka Village in Eavori in the Gogo Borea Manja just outside Makado town, formerly known as Los Treasures. So, how then in the Daming Way of Perao? Udo Udo Uvereza Miloreanga can do good. So under the generation of TUT, under the studies of criminology and victimology, but and the one which is the one Biruni Angori, I am called to be a fashion designer, and one day I will be a fashion designer. But then because Anga Nimero, I couldn't study the fashion design by that time. So under the under Shuma, the Joina logistic industry, and the Shumana companies of Ferrao. So from Bana now, Uva Nepoi, the Fedicer of Shumana company near Fidon Wing Logistics. That's when I realized where I have to resign and chase my dream as a fashion designer. Haley Zinala Black Diamonds Collection. Lotto Magare, Zuchkovaka complexion, Yakalayanga. But Ubaba Sokori, Una Judo, Nabu Judi Banji, Nabu Mofe Banji. So Baba Chimbizori, Judy Black, because Baba Chinago, they were like those when it's in a jet or bandi. So Zinelli Nonilo Vaka Kalayanga, in a worry in the moon, the dark. So Musindi Chitoma something, Dari Black, Nkananzo, Yamba Power. Then a diamond, yamba cherede, na gold, yamba cherede. Haruna Kutar really wants us some amazing technology. So, by the same way, the fashion industry, if you really want us some cool high tech fashion, it will have to learn more about SA's fashion and textile industry. So, let's cut some air. Cutting our clothes with scissors is so old school. See how laser cutting is being used in the fashion industry. Read with them more about SA's fashion and textile industry. If you want us some sci fi fashion pieces, all this and more after the break. Charms. Charms. This is Weed of a Fair with some more exciting things happening in Konalagu TOMZ, proudly sponsored by SABC Education. Konalagu SABC One, Zanti for show. Katako, we will be getting our glitz and glamour on Haran Zerutaka, the fashion industry in South Africa. Retabarubale, some up and coming fashion designers. Retweetaka, some amazing technologies. It will have Retweetaka, the evolution of the clothing manufacturing industry. Ah, that's right. So, there's one of some super high tech fashion being created for our band, Mshab and Wonke. And we also get our experts on today's show to actually show you guys how you can renovate, make, design your own clothes. So, here are the rest of the highlights for today's show. Cutting our clothes with scissors is so old school. See how laser cutting is being used in the fashion industry. Read with them more about SA's fashion and textile industry. Everyone has some sci-fi fashion pieces. All this and more after the break. 
Laser cutting is the latest range in the fashion industry, and this technology can be used in other industries as well. Laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The laser telling that they can emit a continuous beam or a quick pulse. The continuous beam is used to make cuts while the pulse can be used to make small piercings. Laser cutting is a a laser or a cutter into a surface. The benefits of Sabedisa a laser is that it produces a cleaner, more accurate cut. Cutting precisely with scissors or blades can be challenging, especially Halor or Lego produce a high volume of product. With laser cutting, even on leather, you can have repeatable clean cuts with great precision. Laser cutting is a hunter with synthetic fabrics. The plastics in these textiles do not melt during the process, resulting in a sealed, perfect edge that won't fray. Natural fabrics are slightly singed by the heat of the laser, holding the fibers in place. Impane can result in a discoloration on the edges. However, the adjustment is different depending on the fabric and the strength of the laser. The laser is laser. What material works best? If you look at the end product, you can see the end product. You can see the company that is using this advanced technology. So, take a look. Um, I'm Robert Cunningham. I started and own Laser Creations, a small company. Uh, we laser cut for the fashion industry, for uh, the wedding industry, and for various other industries. We started laser cutting fabrics in 2012. And in fact, the first introduction for me for, for laser cutting fabrics was when I met Khatian Kutsia. Hey, Mzanji. I'm Khatian Kutsia, fashion designer and creative director of Khatian Kutsia, designer to the stars. Laser cutting is about really stretching your imagination to cut and create whatever you want to. Um, it can be used in fabric, it can be used in wood, it can be used in plastic. You can literally do anything out of laser cutting. It's a very sharp and clean way of cutting exact patterns out of the medium that you're going to be using. How it works when I incorporate laser cutting into my designs is I phone the laser cutter, I kind of brief him what I am looking for. I'll work with my graphic designer to design what needs to be cut on the computer so that he can give it to his computer and they can cut the shape out of it. So Gertjan Kutsia um, is busy designing a dress for Bonang to wear at the Sama Awards and uh, he wants some laser cut detail added to the dress and so he sent us a file which fortunately in this case is ready to laser cut. Uh, he's got various flowers that he wants us to cut out of a pink fabric um, that he will then embellish the dress with. Uh, this file is a PDF document, it's vector based and so we can use it as it is. And so all that's left for us to do is import it into Coral Draw, the various flowers, size them accordingly because he wants some small and some a little bit bigger. And what we would then do is just step them up as many times as we require. We would move them closer together so as to not waste any fabric. And then once that's done, we would then be ready just to send it off to the laser to, to cut it. In this instance where we're cutting quite a, a light fabric, we would cut fast and we would cut at a low intensity. There's some burning that occurs on the fabric, but in most instances you, you can't even notice it. Obviously lighter colored fabrics would, would tend to show the burn a lot more than what the, the darker colored fabrics would. But we're able to achieve uh, you know, a high quality of cut so that no burning is, is, is evident once we've, once we've finished with the material. For me, the whole inspiration between this dress was I wanted uh, a pink dress, I wanted Sharovsky crystals on it, I wanted it to look whimsical. Um, and the only way we can get that right was through the sharp edge cutting of laser cutting and really just 3Ding it so that it looks like it's textured. Zanja's fashion industry includes different sectors like manufacturing, retail, media and recruitment sectors. Know your fashion and know what SA industry is all about. SA's fashion industry is the first largest employment sector in Rona. With many South African designers, Balin Wurubona Bakhono Fumana international recognition for Mr. Wabona and are currently employed at some of the world's most acclaimed design houses. Mark Bowie's couture have been worn by stars like Angelina Jolie and Beyonce. And Kara Jengs have dressed Rihanna, so South Africa is representing. Textile industry in South Africa can be divided into different categories, including fiber production, spinning, weaving, knitting, a carpet production, and fabric coating. Although textile industry is a boost some impressive results globally. For instance, it's estimated that our local yarn manufacturers supplies about 80% of the sewing thread ever design in the world's sewing operations. We also have the advantage of sewing natural raw fiber materials. South Africa produces around 40,000 tons of cotton every year with above average quality. 
We also have the wide availability of leather. And the government is the world's largest mole hair producer. Not only that, but we are the first largest wool producing country on earth. Technology is already integrating with human life. Even learning how to have wearable technology creeping into the fashion industry. more. We are already carrying our smartphone and smartwatches way to everywhere we go. So it was just a matter of time before our designer ayanza what we call high-tech fashion. With Google Glass being developed on everything from your social media sites to your GPS tracker. Our designers are working on making high-tech fashion accessible to the average shopper. Take a look at this mood sweater. Its knitted brain sensor pinpoints different types of brain activity and monitors your emotional state will change amabala. 3D printed nails featuring awesome designs will be a hit na mantumbazan. Tabanga and light up umbrella for lamalanga magneta, normal coffee infused fabrics that absorb odors. How fashionable is that? we look at the evolution of the fashion industry but that as bona good some fashion designers as a magan to stay current in the ever changing industry and we also go to our social session buffet too so don't forget to go on facebook and twitter leave your comments there we'll be back and turn it into something cool get some awesome do-it-yourself apps on your phone and get some career advice from our experts on today's show all of this and more after the break Charms. On social media, Tom's Moho SABC One M Zanti Four Shop proudly brought to you by SABC Education. Now, as we face the latest pieces of some awesome, cool technologies, I'm trying to see what the SA fashion industry. Catch up with like a high-tech fashion. Rally wants us some amazing new technologies. About this, we're going to be talking about the parrots. Our own, it's fabulous. If we're going to have, we met some amazing South Africans. We're going to be talking about some of the hard fashion. So, we're going to talk about some of the things that the fashion industry evolved. And we're going to have another idea to make fashion an industry. Look at some of the designs. Well, I'm Zante. I am Zane to stay on top of our latest trends. Feel free to share the rest of our highlights. Take a check. Let's call it Balang Hubwa. Let's run our Facebook, like our Twitter, or run our Khonot Kota. Let's run our social session. But first. Learn about the evolution of the fashion industry. Please tweet to Hori Judy Mofe Marubini, owner of Black Diamond Collection, or the Tajwang the fashion trend sailing to high. And get some cool do-it-yourself apps for your smartphone and some awesome career advice from our experts. Before the 1850s, the Aparnedile custom made by a dressmaker kapa a tailor. Impanen King says if it to healing. Impanen King a yenteng Hori this fashion industry e kono hula ebe a multi-billion rand fashion industry kachukulena. Hano jong arsa merle chet before the 1850s, abantu be bafana bazenzele impatla zabo ekhaya, noma bapatale a tailor or a dressmaker to make it for them. Fashion could only be afforded by wealthy classes. Haute couture, a French term for high fashion, and a kalen where modern fashion industry is said to have officially begun as kati u Charles Frederick Worth avula a haute couture fashion house yo kala e Paris were 1858. The 20th century saw the rise of the Industrial Revolution and the emergence of the factory system evumela in mass production of goods. When we capitalism and the invention of technologies as in Jengama sewing machines that sped up the time it took to produce materials nama garments. Umklava where fashion changed forever. Namkanje, it is a globalized industry in Bata designed in one country, manufactured in another, besasitengiswa emklabe ni jigelele. But for your fashion, what's in today is out tomorrow. So this is how I'm going to say Judy Mwafe to ask her as a designer to try and stay on top of what's trending in the world of fashion. As I mentioned, so boy. I mentioned that I was a little bit of a little glamorous. They mix a bit of vintage. So um, international trend into South Africa, we more powerful. Kabat. Most of fashion designers in South Africa, we are influenced by nature. So if you look at the colors, like um, the colors are print, uh, 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 re-influence wanga nature, ne aborin the animal. Just see like uh, the rock or the wanga, it looks like a sky. So it's nature. So most of South African designers are influenced by nature. If you are someone who owns a smartphone, then here are some cool DIY apps to help you design, uyanza, and even reinvent in Bahlazako. A project DIY app yamaala eniga nangama step-by-step instructions for all the do-it-yourself fashion accessories you can think of. The projects are based on runway and editorial looks that will help you create nogutu uzenzele your own handmade fashion accessories. 
The fashion DIY app in a more than 500 easy to follow video lessons as of fundisa how to design, make and alter in zako and accessories. Learn how to turn a sweater yako ya dala into a scarf, turn a skate into a dress and cut t-shirts into tank tops. Noma ufage i bling bling i gatulwe ni zako. The tips and ideas are endless. Wazban mshambi you might create something so cool that everyone else will. What's up everybody, it's time for our social sessions here on Toms and this is where we socialize with our TOMZ fans online. Nazba Fetu, if you guys want to chat with us in today's episode, all you got to do is log on to Facebook or on Twitter and chat with us. Nam Tanja, we've got Uki Lebocha on Facebook saying she thinks all those runway fashion shows are weird and nobody ever wears those big funny looking clothes, which is true. Except Lady Gaga. <laughs> well, of course. So why do they have all these over-the-top closings if Anya Kebaz go Gabantu? They're not actually supposed to wear it. Runway designs are like wearable art. Okay. They focus on innovation and not functionality. It's about publicity, you know. The designer will only use the fabrics and colors of those over-the-top costumes to make wearable clothes that people can actually wear. So it's like a big art show where designers come and show off their skills. That and the color or themes that will make up the next fashion season. Okay. Did you know that fashion is divided into the four seasons? Amma designers work months ahead of a season to decide which color works in the winter and which designs will be trending in spring. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we asked our experts, La on Toms, Uwutiba Sniga, some tips and advice of working in the fashion industry. Take a look. Advice in the Gainea, Banaba, Beneva Kufuno, or with as a fashion design. There are South Africa, a lot of opportunity, especially in clothing industry. Yes, they can follow their dreams, but first, but you to the information, psychology in the university, and then but the other one, I've been a motor and I've already meant to another mentor to the fashion industry. You know, in terms of education, laser cutting for me specifically was a, um, an experience. You, you learned it on the job type of thing. Um, what helps in terms of laser cutting is experience with drawing, um, vector, vector drawing, so computerized drawings, uh, technical drawing, graphic design. That kind of, that kind of education is, is very helpful in the laser cutting industry uh, because all of, our, all of our work has to start as a, a technical drawing or a, a vector type drawing on the computer. Um, and so that's that's really the, the kind of the kind of education that one would require for for this type of business. Job the with the Indi Cheka Nditori and this is an about to never worry back a industry in the area of fashion design or in the corner of honor the two the children as you call them the GP like we check on the internet why is he we check on the fashion devices of South Africa now all over the world so in this one is never going to this but for more information regarding Shorna Yakacheko, go and use our channel called www.tomz.co.za or let me the links. If I'm before it's a Maya, I really want to work at Cheko. I really want to work at Cheko. We looked at the meaning of the term fashion and how it is an expression of our identities, lady personality, star role. We we'll introduce it to legendary South African fashion designer Marion Fassler. We looked at Judy Morphe Marubini. We looked at laser cutting, the latest technology. We looked at a laser company who was able to use this technology. And we shared some DIY apps to help you make your own clothes and accessories. And we got some great career tips and advice from our experts on today's show. So for for more information, let's go to our channel called www.tomz.co.za and don't forget to say hi on Facebook and on Twitter. And that's it for today's show, guys. We're about to go home now. Tell me next time we're going to La Pele. We talk more about some amazing technology, some more more South Africa. We're gonna fix our fashion. So see you guys next week, same time, same place. Konalago SABC One Mzansi for Shizo. Haruku tamu mo tong. Nelly di chomisa karto shabel la di eta tamu mzansi. Read to about the amazing inner workings of your feet. See how she's made here in South Africa, and see how South African ladies are working out. Kadi kwai kwai. Tune into Toms every Monday and Tuesdays at four o'clock right here on SABC One. Mzansi for sure.